Hi, it's Tom here and welcome to another Gradle best practice tip. And this time I'd like to recommend to stop cleaning your project before you build it. And I think this is quite a common one for people to think that every time that they're going to build their project they need to run a clean first. And that just really defeats the whole point of the Gradle incremental build feature because every single task needs to get rerun. Whereas with incremental build, Gradle is very intelligent in that it knows what the inputs to tasks and the outputs to tasks are, and it can work out whether it needs to run it again. So to take a concrete example, let's think about the compiled Java task. Its inputs are the .java source files, and its outputs are the compiled Java classes. And if neither of those has changed, then there's no reason for Gradle to rerun that task. And if you've got a medium to large size project, then you're probably wasting a lot of time if you're doing a clean before a build because you're having to recompile all that code and package it up again. And I think this is a hangover from the Maven days where it didn't really have very good incremental build support and clean was quite often necessary. But now with Gradle, it's almost always the case that we don't need to run clean before we do a build. And in this video, we're gonna run through some examples. And right here, we've got a Gradle Java project. It's got the application plugin, so it follows the standard Java project layout. And in the source directory, we've got one class here, we've got a resource, and we've got a test class. And we don't have a build directory right now, but if we were to run dot slash Gradle W space build, once that's completed in the build directory, we have classes, which are our compiled Java class files. And we've got the app and the app test. And then in resources, we've got the resource that's been copied across. And it's no surprise that if we were to run the clean task, then that deletes our build directory. That's completely gone away. And then if we run build again, all of these tasks are having to run again. So we're having to compile the Java, process the resources, and then for the tests, compile the test Java and process the test resources. So let's compare this to if we just build without doing the clean. And obviously we've made no changes and Gradle knows about that because right now you can see that all of these tasks are marked as up to date and Gradle's not building them. And in this small project, that doesn't make much difference because well, there's only a couple of classes to compile. But if you scale this up, then that's going to make a big difference. And I've seen some information online, for example, on Stack Overflow, that's claiming that one of the reasons you need to do a clean when you're running a Gradle build is to make sure that classes that you've deleted get removed from your build directory. But this information just isn't true. And to illustrate that, what I'm going to do here is change the name of this class from app to renamed app. And let's change the test name as well to be consistent. And before I do a build, let's quickly look inside the classes directory. And we do have the app Java class file. Now, if I run build again, Gradle has correctly detected that it needs to rerun the compiled Java task. And then in the directory here, it's removed the app class file and it's added renamed app. And in the Gradle world, this is known as cleaning stale outputs. It's detected that there's an output that isn't required anymore and it gets deleted. And we can try a similar thing with the test outputs here. So right now we've got renamed app test. And we could go ahead and just completely delete this test class and rerun the build. And the test classes there have been completely deleted because that stale output has been removed. So hopefully you're following me here that there's really no need to run clean, especially with Java project setups like this. And this is almost always the case, but perhaps one of the only reasons that you might need to run clean is if you're relying on a plugin which provides a task which doesn't properly track inputs and outputs. But I'd say this is an edge case and unless you've got a specific reason to do so, then I'd avoid running clean at all costs to save you time. 
And if after all this, you think that you're going to ditch the clean task and save yourself some time, or alternatively, if you still think that there's a valid reason for you to use the clean task, then please leave a comment below. I'd be interested to hear what you think. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in another Gradle best practice tip.